We're back again, the Wallace Reboot. Been so long. <laughs> Been a little bit busy, you Been know. a few months. Actually, I just took a mental health break, y'all. That's really what happened. Sometimes you gotta do it, you know, hit reboot. Anyways, as a lot of you know, this is like my journal and um, we do want a community just of other, you know, friends and supporters yeah. and travelers that we can meet up with and um, unschoolers and whatever what we have in common. Is, yeah, cool. So we want that community. That's why we post publicly um, instead of it just being our private journal. I don't know. Anyways, we do know you're there and we love you guys and we love this little community that's getting, you know, we're starting to recognize names and that's great and we get messages. And so before we threw out a new Bali video that was actually back in what, last summer. Yeah. <laughs> I can't it's believe been it's been that long. Oh my goodness. Ah! Life catches Anyways, up with you, you know? we just wanted to do an update video and let you know where we are and what's going on. So We are in Tirana, Albania. And we're here for a year. Sit there in one spot for a whole year. It's like, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, so, I we were kind of conflicted about it. I was at least. It was like a whole year. You know how many countries we can visit and like live in in a whole year? Like, Are we just That's wasting true. time? But the kids, the girls, were really wanting to be in one place. We just thought it would be a good thing to try for a little bit because we've been moving for almost, it was like a solid two and a half years. Yeah, almost three. Yeah. We're working towards three years here in a month or two, a couple mm -hmm. months. June. Ooh. Run into the wheels fall off. Yep. And so, anyways, Albania offers a um, one, year. one year no visa for U.S. citizens. And so that is helpful on just time mm -hmm. yeah um and money and all that and doing border runs or having to move out of the country because your time's up yeah. and so um georgia and albania were a good choice for u.s citizens for those for the visa purpose mm -hmm. and then we had come through albania on our first road trip yeah we did but we were only here for one week and over on the coast mm -hmm. and we drove from here across do you remember we were driving to like macedonia to yeah, like orid yeah, yeah. and we were like <clears throat> what is this place yeah, this yeah. is beautiful and the guy's like this cool. is what i think like vietnam will look like because there mm -hmm. was like through these cool valleys with little farms and there's like all these Rice palm trees and stuff and we yeah. were like where are we mm -hmm. So I always said I wanted to come back if we were going to explore one country that mm -hmm. we had gone to that we weren't in very long and in Europe. It was we're here now. So. Albania. So we're excited to explore more of it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, right now, as we can't with a lot nothing. of you, um, they finally, the country, for some reason, the government kind of was doing a, we're immune to mm -hmm. coronavirus. Like literally, thought, I don't know. They were putting it out there. Sorry. It's actually super quiet right now. Yes, uh, it we is. found an apartment in a pretty great area, and it's city. really quiet because the city decided, anyways, to finally decide that they're not immune, even though we're right across from Italy, where the second biggest outbreak is. Mm -hmm. um, and we've had, a, you know, they've had Italians coming over on the ferries and planes every day yeah. for months, and mm -hmm. now they decided, oh, wait a minute, shut it down. So um, they also put basically everyone in the country is on quarantine for two weeks. We can't go play at the park even, which was a massive no bummer. Restaurants. That's a bummer. No restaurants, no cafes, whatever. And then on the streets right now, it's supposed to, they're just all really loud, it just be like service or delivery vehicles and government like mm -hmm. official vehicles. There's yeah. no private vehicles on the road because usually this road is totally packed with cars or there's a steady flow. And yeah, so it's kind of exactly. strange to walk around and have like just the streets and like a random little car motorcycle. So, so it kind of looks uh, pretty scary just walking out there when nobody's really Yeah, there. but the stuff we, it does, it's like a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. But um, the stores have loaded shelves with toilet yeah. paper. It's yeah. no, there's no craziness like that so mm -hmm. far at least. And we're getting water from our local uh, market yeah, right next to us. Yeah, we can't drink the us, water so. here. Even if you boil it, it still has like metals in it that mm -hmm. don't boil out. So we do have to buy water. That's kind of a bummer here because it's a lot of plastic. So we get the biggest container yeah, it's we can. Yeah, a lot of plastic, yeah. That's kind of frustrating. But um, what else? We're getting into some kind of, like you had, he had a crazy work mm. month and worked a ton and well, broke his record. Well, that's because China had the coronavirus Because they were all hard. shut down. So the kids were home. So the parents were just having them be learning. And my most record I did for one day was what, 23 classes? It was thing? insane. Yeah, it was like so 23, 23 25 minute classes. And um, the girls, uh, we found a ballet studio like 
right around the block. That's what I was trying to say is that we were coming to settle down so that mm -hmm. the kids could do activities and right, stuff. And right. at first we were like, kind of like, uh oh, like we're not really finding any because, or they're really expensive because mm -hmm. it's like a Western thing. Like mm -hmm. the local kids can't afford it and they're in school all day. Right, right. And so we've only found, we'd only found one other kid, two now, mm -hmm. nine year olds, yeah. different families That's that true. homeschool. We haven't hooked into like, there's supposed to be more. So we st still need to try and work on that and find the well, other we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, so far, yeah, we have a few families we meet up with just for fun and go to the park or whatever. Yeah. We were going ice skating like once a week. We've missed a few weeks though. We found so, dance lessons, mm, yeah. just like right. It was so funny. We kept, anyways. We found this bakery, and we it was over by our friend's house on the other si side of the city. And so we'd go there when we went ice skating. Mm -hmm. And then like a thirty minute. One day we decide to. I I had not walked left. Wally had, but he didn't notice. And I walked left. We'd been living here a month, and that same bakery has one like on the corner here, mm -hmm. and another grocery store. And then we take the corner, and there's like a little dance studio there that is literally half the price of everywhere yes, else I've looked. Definitely. And so, it's, all three of the younger kids are in lessons there, twice and, a week. Mm -hmm. so. And then the other big news is Makai has really found his community. Yeah. He's kind of bummed right now because we're stuck on quarantine, and he was just getting in his groove. He has a job. Yeah, tell him. <laughs> Yeah, he's actually uh, working as a uh, bartender in a, in a sports bar. Our 18-year-old, I just turned 18-year-old. <laughs> yeah, it's so <laughs> surreal. It's the weirdest thing. But 18 is the legal drinking age in But I always Europe. joke about it, saying that he manifested this job. He really he did. Four it's years kind of old. funny. <laughs> we should, yeah. We went to my cousin's <laughs> wedding mm -hmm. in Mackay. It was in Virginia. It was, Mackay was like four? five. Four well, five, yeah, five, yeah, maybe five, yeah. And that, and he like literally the so guy the reception the guy babysat him at the reception like he yeah. hung out with him the entire reception and this is the bartender at the so bar so Makai's like sitting there. on a couple cases of sodas just like sitting there chilling behind the bar talking to the bartender <laughs> and so then we get in the car on the way home he's like I'm gonna be a bartender yeah, when I grow up and we're like oh really and then you were like oh you're gonna have a signature what's your signature signature drink going to be. <laughs> Yeah, he was like ginger and Sprite. Yeah, a, little a little bit spicy and a little, a little bit spritey. <laughs> so yeah, now he's, he's like, yeah, I'll make that now. I'll just add some whiskey to it or something. Anyways, it was funny. So he's yeah. learning that, but he's like, because it's a skill mm -hmm. that he's hoping that he'll be able to fall back on if he, you know, because he wants to travel on his own for a bit mm -hmm. at yeah. some point or with friends. And so he'll have some skills that he can use and exactly. get some work. Maybe. See how it goes. Other than that, we've been doing a little more. I've been trying to do poetry tea time or mm -hmm. like a tea time thing once a week with the kids where we either do music appreciation or... Oh, and then Taven has guitar lessons. Oh, yeah, That's Taven has lesson. guitar lessons also. <clears throat> but music appreciation or art appreciation or poetry. Yeah. Yeah. So if you do hashtag poetry tea time, though, that's where I found it on Instagram. And mm -hmm. um, I thought it was a great idea. So... We're trying to do that a little bit. We're still unschooling, but we're trying to get a little bit. I want to get a little bit more like homeschooling stuff and us doing fun stuff with them on purpose, especially right now if we're still yeah. in quarantine because we're not out exploring yet. Yeah. Or right now. Well, we tried to go ahead and do the park, but uh, the cops stopped us and said we couldn't go to the park. So Yeah. We just rode around the bikes in the little complex in the, in the center but otherwise we really like it here a ton of people know english otherwise mm -hmm. we use yeah. google translate mm -hmm. um the area we're in is like really walkable like we can yeah. walk anywhere in half minutes. an hour yeah, yeah. And it, but i mean it, i mean you can go obviously there's stuff shorter there's a grocery store one minute and mm -hmm. there's a park two minutes like Many the biggest park stores, yeah. in the city with like the artificial lake there's a big lake up there so all that's there I actually have footage i'll try to pop it in here and the people are nice, food's good. Yeah, people are very nice, yeah. They definitely try to help you out. They, they, yep. they like Americans. Let us know what you've been up to. Yeah. How your holidays were, even though it's a few months ago. How coronavirus status yeah, is how for you, you where you're quarantine? at. Are you quarantined in your area of the world? Not everybody is, so. That's true. Let us know what you've been up to. And then um, tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to post a Bali video mm. and share Bali with you, which will that be That was awesome. a good experience. It was really amazing. Was, yeah. yeah. So we'll share that and then just kind of keep rolling forward until time, we're caught up times. with current time. <laughs> One day we might be caught up with current time, you never know. So if we sit here in quarantine and have nothing else to do and I can just edit and we're not filming, 
That's the problem. <laughs> that could be. I edit and get videos out, but then we're doing massive adventures, so I just have this back. Exactly. So I just have this back. Well, you know what? Of... It's funny. I was just thinking uh, today. I was like, Tam kind of manifested this quarantine, okay? <laughs> because she kept on saying that, man, there want to be a day where I could just sit around and don't do nothing. Every day we've been really doing did. something, been doing something, been doing we've something. We've been so busy. <laughs> and know. sure enough, now we're on a two week. It's spread. like it's like summer when you're like. Oh, summer's here. The kids are out of school. We're going to relax. And it's yeah, so yeah. busy. Yeah, and seriously. you're like, man, that ended up being so busy. Every year, all my friends would be like, yep, it ended up being super busy no, but again. Seriously, she didn't have anything planned. And showing up the night before, like, she'll get a call from uh, one of the other uh, individuals that we meet. Hey, uh, we'll got something tomorrow. going on. I know. So we keep doing stuff. Uh, it's been yeah. great. But, but it's cool, though. It really is cool, you know. Sometimes so. you just need to chill. It's kind of hard to be stuck on quarantine and not even get to go to, like, the cafe or to yeah. dinner once in a while or something, though. It's that like, is this true. is over to the movie theater. Yeah, I know, right? To the park. That's the hugest one. Not being able to go down to the lake and walk around the lake in the park. That's a massive It's a beautiful... Uh, it took, took me a whole it's, hour to walk around the whole thing. So it was really nice. And it's really 70 big. degrees today. Yeah, <laughs> it's seriously. so nice out. Seriously. So that's kind of a bummer. But that's okay. We're hanging on our balcony. Yeah, got a nice balcony. Everybody got their own little balcony to sit out there and just chill. In the living room too, huh? Yeah. So yeah. we're paying a little more than we were hoping. Mm -hmm. um, for those curious, it's... 500 euros mm -hmm. with the tax if you do that it's just kind of a thing here we're not going to get into it but anyways it's it's Seven. it's a developing country yeah and so everything yes. doesn't always completely follow the rules yet um but if you pay the tax it's 15 percent of whatever's on your contract yeah. And so I think Makai, Makai's paying the tax because it's part of his job thing, and so yeah. the, just it's his, his responsibility rent, so. to contribute, <laughs> yeah. um, to start just to start having that as he moves into the real world and help him transition a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Um, I think he paid like sixty US. Yeah, about sixty US. Yeah, I yeah. think so. And so he'll pay that monthly, mm -hmm. and then we have utilities. That's the which, 15. Yeah. So I think yeah. about one eighty for yeah. all utilities, and then which is cool because we already paid the cable for the whole year. You know no, I mean? not cable, Wi-Fi. I mean, yeah, Wi-Fi, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. paid Wi-Fi for the year, and it was like 280. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which was good. It wasn't too for bad. For a whole year, yeah. and it's like high speed, so that's pretty mm -hmm. good. And then, that's, yeah, I guess yeah. that's it. Then mm -hmm. we're just spending way too much on groceries, though. We won't lie. We thought it was going to be so cheap, and we're going to be saving money. Well, but we've been not spending only a lot that, of groceries the fridge and snacks, is kind of small. Our fridge is small, so we go shopping every day, so it so, just feels... Yeah. We're still in, you know, European countries, Ooh. so... Anyways, that's us. We're all alive. That's our catch up. Let us know what you're up to down in the comments. Yep. And hopefully you'll still be excited to see the rest of our adventures that we've had that we want to share with you. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, watch out for a Bali video here in a day or two. Okay. Love, love you guys. All right. Bye. Peace out. Join us next time on the Wallace Reboot as we journey back to beautiful Bali, catch There's up Levi. with some old friends, and listen to a kind of long story from Kai. It's kind of like drops. Yeah. Like, doesn't like, not straight down, obviously, but it's just like, it's a pretty steep. We love you!